Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I heard in the words, I was glad when they said to me, let's go into the house of the Lord. Somebody say just one more time, God has spared my life. Just one more time, God has watched over me throughout the night. Didn't suffer any hurt, harm, or day to come upon me. Just one more time, God give me the opportunity to say, Lord, I thank you for another day to get the wrong right. My God, my God. Woo! My God is good, God is good, God is good. I don't care whatever it is, what you're going through, how you feel, God is good. Tell yourself that. God is good. My God is good. Whatever it is, you're going to break me out of it. Lord have mercy. God is good. God is good. God is good. So I owe God to pray. I come in to lift up his name because God worthy to be praised on this morning. My God, my God. We give all the men to the beautiful spirit of God on this morning. Thank God, man, for the plan of salvation, yes. for being baptized in his name, for to give us the Holy Ghost. Yes. My God is good. Hallelujah. Yes. It's so good to have the total package of what God gave us. Yes. My God, we thank and praise God, amen, in Jesus' name. We give honor always, amen, to my pastor, our pastor, amen, to Bishop Anderson. Amen to his wife, amen. I thank you, praise God, for his family. Hallelujah. I thank God, man, for my wife, amen. In Jesus' name, my God is good, thanks to God. Hallelujah. Ella Palmer, bring forth the word on the small. Thank God for him and his family. My God, my God. Minister Scott, I thank God for him, amen. His lovely wife, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I is personal. I thank God. Amen. For seeing my father back in the house of the Lord today. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I went by there this morning and to pick him up. Amen. And he stepped out the door. I stopped and laughing. Yeah, I did. I said, look at him. Look at him. This man going to be my twin completely today. Boy, I thank God for my father on this morning. Thanks to God. Yeah. Amen. God is good, saints of God. Amen. We thank God, man, for our beautiful choir on this morning. Don't they look good? Yeah, they do. They look good. They look good. Amen. Hallelujah. For all of our mothers, amen, in Jesus' name. I thank God for each one. Amen. A very special way to do it. Amen. The ushers on the door, I thank God for you. Those that's online, I thank and I praise God for you. For all of our visiting and friends on this morning that took the time out there did this morning. Tell me, who can't serve a God like that? Who can't serve a God like that? So we're going to ask you, if you would, man, to stand to your feet, amen. We're going to receive our choir on this morning. Thanks, God. Let's give all we got, amen, to God on this morning. We owe God everything we have in Jesus' name. Our choir in Jesus' name. Yeah. 
Deacon Ferdinand, amen, amen. sister God. Amen, amen, amen. Remember them that are sick and shed in. Amen. Somebody that's missing next to you on this morning that you don't see here, pray for them. Pray for them. You don't know what's going on, but you pray for them. Amen. In Jesus, and them that's online, pray for them. Thanks, God. Let's pray for the service on this morning. That God will have this way this morning. That we'll let God is take us high on this morning. Amen. We're going to have our prayer him. We ask that, amen, minister Scott's word and lives in prayer in that order. In Jesus' name, my God is good. My God is good. Thank you, Jesus.
Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. I just want to give God the praise and the honor on the day. And we thank you, Lord. Father God, we come before you, humble as we know how, Lord. Thanking you for how you overshadowed us and blessed us over and over again, Lord. We can't thank you enough, can't praise you enough. If we had a thousand tongues, Lord, we can't praise you enough for what you have done for us. You've been good to us, Lord. We want to thank you how you overshadowed us on last night. While we slept in slumber, you let no hurt or harm or danger. Hallelujah. You woke us up this morning to a brand new day. And we want to thank you, Lord. We want to thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. But most of all, Lord, we want to thank you, Father, for how you went upon Calvary and shed your precious blood that we may have an everlasting life. And we thank you, Lord. Father God, we thank you on the day, Lord. Father God, we ask you to bless the service on the day, Lord. Father God, we ask you to bless the men of God, our bishop on the day, and his family. Hallelujah. ask you to bless Elder Frederick and his companion family on the day. Father God, Elder Hale on the day. Hallelujah. Elder Palmer on the day. And myself, Deacon Frederick, Father God, we ask you, Father God, to bless each and every one, the sick and the shed in, the ones on the prayer list and the ones not on the prayer list, Lord. Father God, you know each and every one of them, name by name and face by face, Lord. Father God, you know every hair of them upon the head. Lord, Father God, we ask you to touch them. Touch them and heal them in a mighty way, Lord. Hallelujah. Father God, we ask you to remember the ones that once knew you, Lord, but went back out into that world, Lord. Father God, we ask you to bring them back. Bring them back into the ark of safety, Lord. And they do their first work over, Lord. Hallelujah. Father God, we ask you to go into the different institution, Lord. Hallelujah. Someone needs you, Lord. Lord. Someone needs you to be a mind regulator. Someone needs you to be a deliverer on the day. Someone needs you to be a father to the father. Someone needs you to be a lawyer in the courtroom, a doctor in the sick room. Lord, we need you, Lord. Hallelujah. We look to the hills where our help come from, Lord. Hallelujah. We ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Whatever you ask God for, God is going to do it. You got to believe it. If you ask it, say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you in fact for what you're doing. God, my God, we thank God for prayer, thanks to God, because we know you know prayer changes things. Amen. In Jesus, we have another song from our beautiful choir. In Jesus' name. I can't move the mountain that blocks my way. And I can't turn a storm cloud into a sunny day. And I can't speak to the wind and the wind will obey. I can't I can, I can, I can move the mountain that blocks my way, and I can turn a storm cloud into a sunny day and I can speak to the wind and the wind will obey I can I can but God can oh no I can I can, but God can. 
I know he can. I can. I can. But God can. I know he can. He opened doors for me. God can, and I can solve these problems, no matter how hard I try, but I will keep on, keep on smiling, although I to cry Jesus will bear my burdens He will dry my weeping eyes I can I can but God can oh no But God can, my God can, I can, I can, but God can, yes he can, I have a friend who told me not to worry, he will bear all of my heavy burdens. I can, I can, but God can. Oh no, I can, but God can. I can, but God can. God can, I know He can. Can. Yes, he can. He opened doors, doors for me. Lord, I'm not able, I'm not able to see. I can, I can, but God can. But God can, I know He can, I can, I can, but God can, I know He can, He opened doors for me, although I may not be able to see. God can. You can't open doors that God can't.
God said, he's my everything. He's my everything. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. God, my God. We'd like to draw your attention on this morning, amen, to Second Chronicles. Amen, the seventh chapter and the 14th verse. God can. God can. Amen. Second Chronicles, amen, the seventh chapter and the fourteenth verse, read this wise. He said, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their land, their sins, and will heal their land. Now my eyes should be open. And my ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. Yes. For now I have chosen and sanctified this house that my good God, thank you, Jesus, that my name may be there forever, and my eyes and my heart should be there perpetual. And, and as for thee. If thou walk before me as David thy father walked, and do according to all that have I have commanded thee, and observe my statute and my judgment, then will I establish the throne of thy king according as I have converted with David thy father, saying, There will not fail thee a man to be ruled in Israel. But we got to do something same. We got to keep on turning towards God and live for ourselves. Good God. Look. Thank God for the strip that man in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's make that person a turn. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. We come to a, a different part of the service that we all can play a part in. Amen. Everybody can sing as beautiful as they can. Everybody can preach. And everybody can't us. Amen. But we all can play a part in giving as God has gave it to us. Amen. Amen. So we come to our, our offertorial service part. So we're going to turn the hand of Minister Scott. They receive my saying, Amen. Amen. God, we come to you humble as we know how, Lord. Father God, we want to thank you for how you gave so much to us. And Father God, we just going to give something back to you, Lord. Just a little something, Father God. But we thank you. We ask you to bless each and every one who give an offering on the day, Lord. This is to sanctify, multiply, and build your church up, Lord. Let everybody say amen. Amen. Us at this time. And saints, let's remember the man of God bring forth the word on the day. Yes, let's be a blessing to him. Yes. Amen. 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 
time. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Cooper and Foster Cooper have some words in there from Elder Hale. They receive them both in our order by saying amen. 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 Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. And welcome to the Bible Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. We praise the Lord for all of you being here in person and virtually. And we also praise the Lord for all of our guests. Amen. We will not be having our 5 o'clock service this evening. Amen. Tuesday night is Bible class at 7 o'clock. And on Thursday night, we will be having prayer and tarrying service at 7 o'clock. Wednesdays at 10 o'clock, prayer is held here at the church. Our Summer Holiness Conference will be held this coming Friday, July 14th. through Sunday, July 16th. Amen. Our pastor session will begin at four o'clock on Friday. And the topic is for our Summer Holiness Conference, Restoration Inspires Change. Amen. The evening service will begin at six o'clock on Friday night with Elder James Thornton III being right. our guest speaker. Amen. On Saturday, July 15th, the service will begin at 12 o'clock with Elder George Gore Jr. being right. our guest Amen. speaker. And the conference will conclude on Sunday, July 16th, with Bishop Herman Dade Sr. being our guest speaker for the 11 o'clock service. Amen. On Saturday, July 22nd, 
Bishop Anderson will be the guest speaker for the United Church of God's Pastor Appreciation Service, which will begin at 4 o'clock p.m. We do have a Fifth Sunday Fellowship Weekend with United Church of God on July 29th and July 30th. Service will begin at 12 o'clock on Saturday, and service will begin at 11 o'clock, and service will not be held here at the Bible Church on that Sunday. On Saturday, August 12th, there will be an officer's meeting at 11 o'clock to include the deacon, minister, and elders. And there are not any known anniversaries or birthdays for this week. This will conclude our announcements. The Bible Church is a place where everyone is made to feel at home, whether you're a saint of God or a guest. We thank you. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's not the first time, so I can say it again. It's a pleasure to be here one more time. We thank and praise the Lord for, for his goodness. Yes. I enjoyed the Lord. When I, Amen. And I'm enjoying the Lord again. So I thank God for you. I thank God for you. It's a, this is, seems to be a good place, and I, I, I said, well, I'm going to come again. So I just thank and praise the Lord. I thank God. I feel welcome. The Spirit of the Lord has welcomed me already. I thank God for your wonderful pastor. Yes. We can we can meet him pretty regularly. And you know, God is good. Yes, he is. So I expect great things from God. How about you? Yes. Amen. 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 You see, he expect great things from God. I mean, he's looking for something. How about you? Amen. We thank God, man, for the. Amen for the praise and for the hell in Jesus' name. Saints, God, we have another, amen, song coming from our beautiful choir this morning. And after which the word of God comes from our very own Elder Palmer. They receive them both in that order by saying, Amen. Amen. Say it again, Amen. Amen. Say any way, any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be, I'll be satisfied. Say any way, any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be, I'll be satisfied. Feed, feed me, Jesus, till I walk fill my cup, let it overflow. Say any Say any way, any way you bless me, I'll be, I'll be satisfied. Say any way, I'll be, I'll be satisfied. Feed, feed me, Jesus, till I fill my cup, let it overflow. Say. Anyway, 
you bless me. Say anyway, you bless me. I'll be satisfied. I'll be satisfied. I'll be satisfied. I'll be satisfied. I say your blessing, your blessing is coming. Say your blessing. Say your blessing. Say your blessing is on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's on the way. 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 I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Can't you see it? I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's on the way. 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 I can see it. I can see it. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Say anyway. Anyway, you see fit to bless me, Lord. I'll be satisfied. I'll give you the praise. I'll give you the glory. I'll give you the honor. Anyway, you bless me. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah in the house. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. been blessing me. I say he's been blessing me. He woke me up early this morning. He start, I feel like running in the house. Glory be to God. Oh, I give him the praise. I give him the glory. I give him the honor. <laughs> and I don't know what you come to do on this morning, but I come to give God the praise. I come to give him the glory. I come to tell him thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> I praise him on this morning. I praise him on this morning. I praise him on this morning. 
when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he is doing for me it's my soul that's crying out hallelujah hallelujah I praise God for saving me there's a song that says God is a good God y'all didn't hear me I said that God is a good God anybody know that God is a good God well why don't you give him some praise why don't you tell him thank you tell him thank you you know we try to encourage the people of God to give God the praise but when you know that you know that you know that you know that you know ain't nobody got to tell me to give God the praise ain't nobody got to push me to give God the praise I said when I think of his goodness I said when I think of his goodness <laughs> got a praise way down on the inside sometimes it comes out in my hands sometimes it comes out in my feet sometimes it come out in my singing sometimes it come out sometimes it come out in my shouting but I will give him the praise I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth it's my soul that makes his boast in the Lord <laughs> ah, I got to tell somebody I got to testify that God is good all the time My soul is happy on this morning. My soul is happy on this morning. I'm excited about what God is doing. And if I was, if you had done something for me, I'd be praising you this morning. But God has done something marvelous, wonderful for me. He's done something that no other man can do. Uh, no other power can do. Somebody said, I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high, I looked low, couldn't find anybody. But one day, one day, I came to Jesus just as I was. Oh, I was a wretch and undone. My Lord and my God. And look what God has done for me. He picked me up. He turned me around. He placed my feet. On solid, I said solid ground, <laughs> and I believe I'll run on. I believe I'll run on. <laughs> you, 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 you can't hold me back now. I come too far to turn around. Uh, a lot of folks are trying to turn you around. A lot of folks are trying to disencourage you. And, uh, trying to make you go back and talked about mistreated I'm so glad I know Jesus for myself sanctified church it's good to be in a sanctified church Good to be holy <laughs> it's good to be baptized in Jesus name filled with the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God give you others it's good to be saved hallelujah and I bless him on this morning I bless him on this morning I'm excited about Jesus I'm excited about Jesus. You, you know, when we talk about Jesus, sometimes we have phone call and conversation between each other. When we talk about Jesus, it brings joy to you. It's good. But when I can talk to him for myself, when he encourages me, when he gives me a scripture, when he makes a way out of no way, and I know there can't nobody else do it but him, <laughs> when God does it, uh, everything changes. Uh, my God, I, you know, I begin to express myself in thanksgiving. So I begin to tell him, thank you, Lord. I begin to shout hallelujah. I begin to say, praise you, Lord. 
I begin to say, joyous God, oh my Lord, my Savior, you belong to me. You my God. And I get joy uh, when I think about God is good all the time and, and all the time God is good. We thank God for this place of worship. Praise God. Thank God for this house. Praise God. The Bible Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the foundation of God. Hallelujah. And the word of God. In the word of God, saints, we have a hiding place. Aren't you glad that we have a hiding place in the word of God? Uh, aren't you glad for this house a place to come and worship in spirit and in truth? I wish somebody would go with me this morning. I say in spirit and in truth. Aren't you excited about it? You can cast all your cares upon hell for he cares for you. <laughs> I'm glad for this house of God. Praise God. Praise God for our pastor, Bishop Isaiah Anderson on this morning. Thank God for him. Praise God on this morning the man of God praise God that if you wasn't at church last night you missed praise God another treat praise God from the word of God see because all the word of God is good my God but he preached praise God under the anointing of the Holy Ghost praise God on last night and we thank God for the word we're still feasting off the word somebody say good eating that was good eating hallelujah if you were there last night we really could say the benediction and go home because that word was just so good uh, I, I still got leftovers praise God I haven't digested all it's still going down huh mm, the word of God is right hallelujah and I praise God for the word you got to sit down at the table and start enjoying your meal <laughs> you got to start enjoying the word of God Oh, the singing is good, the instruments is good, the music, but the word is good all by itself. I'm going to move on. We had a joyous time on last night. Praise God, praise God, praise God for all that went, praise God, on last night. We thank God for, praise God, Mother Anderson and her family. We thank God for uh, Elder Furtick, praise God, and Minister Scott, and also... Praise God, Elder Hell, on this morning. Thank God for you. Praise God being here on today. Deacon Ferg, it's good to see you in the house of God on this morning. Uh, we're praying for you. Praise God that God will continue to give you strength. Praise God. He didn't bring you this far to leave you. <laughs> My God, he's sitting right there beside you. Uh, he's in you. He's better beside you. He's in you. <laughs> yes, sir. So we're praying for you on today and to all the brothers to all of our mothers praise god mother moore praise god mother barnett praise god mother fulton praise god mother washington praise god to all of our mothers praise god to all of us praise god sisters to all the saints of god to those that are online praise god we just praise god for everybody on today and truly god again is a good god i give an honor to him praise god because he is yes he's worthy uh, to be praised. Praise God. Thank God. Even for my mother seeing her 84th birthday today. Thank God for her. Praise God. God is good. Hallelujah. Uh, to allow her to see her 84th praise God birthday. We thank God for that on this morning. You know, I'm just excited. Praise God in the word of God. Praise God uh, on today. You can find me in Praise God, 1 Corinthians, praise God, the 15th chapter and the 58th verse. Praise God, praise God. I just thank God for his word. Ha, his word is, is just full. My God, his word is righteous. Uh, his word is true. Uh, we ought to take him at his word. Uh, my God, we'll get through life a lot easier if we just take God at his word. Uh, so we want to go and get right into this praise God if you would just stand with me I'm just going to read the 58th verse if you will 1st Corinthians 15 and 58 uh, pray for me on today and it reads therefore my beloved brethren uh, God we Woo! my Lord and my God therefore my beloved brethren be steadfast. Be steadfast. Unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. 
For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Can I read it one more time? Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Father, we thank you for this word, O oh God. We ask you to touch us even on today. Bless us as we come forth, O oh God, with your word. Touch me, O oh God. Speak through me, O oh God. Hallelujah. These are your people, O oh God. Give me a word for us on today, O oh God. O oh God, that we may live, O oh God, by your word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for all that's assembled here today and online. Just bless us, Lord God. Bless us real good on today. O oh God, deliver, make whole, set free, heal the sick. Save the unsaved, fill those with the Holy Ghost, oh God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, bless the burden on today, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless your people in Jesus' name, I pray. And all God's people say amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Yes, hallelujah. I want to talk about being steadfast. Amen. Saints, we got to be steadfast. steadfast. You may be seated. We, we're living in a day and time where, uh, you know, times is, is critical. Uh, it's real critical. Uh, time is winding up. And uh, the church, uh, it's time for us to be uh, about our father's business. Uh, we got to be steadfast. Unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as we know, you know, ye you know, uh, that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. In the Lord. We have to come together in the Lord. We have to stay together in the Lord. I'm encouraging you on today. Bible Church, we got to be steadfast. Tell somebody to be steadfast. Come on, talk to me. Tell somebody to be steadfast. Uh, Paul writes to the Corinthian church, praise God. You know... Paul was an encourager. Uh, my Lord and my God. Paul tried to keep the churches together, keep the house, the people of God together and in order. Uh, a lot of people, churches, out of order. <laughs> uh, Paul was one that one time persecuted the church. Uh, but I'm so glad, hallelujah, <laughs> that one day, hallelujah, God said, uh-huh, I can use you. Uh, I said, you're a soldier. <laughs> yeah, you like to fight. Uh, you like to slay people and kill people. <laughs> I can use you in the church. <laughs> Tell somebody we got to be steadfast in the apostles' doctrine. Uh, we got to be steadfast. Uh, I'm so glad today, hallelujah, uh, that I am what I am <laughs> in the Lord. Uh, God is so good to us. <laughs> uh, thanks to friends of mine, we, uh, we got to be steadfast in the Lord. I'm, I'm reminded of this day. It's a very special day for me, not just because it's my mom's birthday. That's, that's fine. Praise God. But I I lost a very dear friend of mine on, uh, on, on, on yesterday, if it would go back a couple years back, it would have been yesterday. He died the day before his birthday. His birthday would be today, the same day as my mom. This is the young man I told you about when I probably first came here, that he was a member of the church, praise God, in D.C. And praise God, he was a close, he was a brother, not natural brother, but he was a brother, a friend. We grew up in church together. Praise God. So he, he was my cheerleader, if you will. 
uh, uh, he was my very close friend, if you will. Uh, when I would preach, he was my reader, if you will. Um, and before, praise God, his passing, praise God, about five, four, four or five years ago, praise God, he, praise God, would encourage me, praise God, to preach the word. <laughs> Yeah, he would encourage me to stand on, praise God, the word of God. See, because he knew me when I was a, 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 a brother, a deacon, a minister, praise God, and an elder. Praise God. And he would always encourage me in the gospel. Something like Paul to Timothy, praise God, he would encourage him, praise God, to preach God's gospel. And I'm looking back on this day because not just because of his, his, his death. He, he, like I said, he passed the day before his birthday. Praise God. But I'm looking on this day because this is the day also. Mm -hmm. This is the day also if you would turn with me to 2 Corinthians, I mean 2 Timothy uh -huh. four and one. This is the day also. Y'all just go with me for a moment, but this is the day also. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it for a reason. This is the day also. Yeah. Got to stand. Got to stand. Amen. Amen. Got to stand, saints. Yes. Yes. No time to look back. Yes. No time to go back. Amen. No time to wander in the wilderness. Amen. God called us. Amen. And it's time to stand. That's right. This is the day. Mm -hmm. This is the day. Yes. I was ordained as an elder. Amen. Six Lord. years ago. Today. You got to stand. Amen. And I look back on this day. Yes. I was handed this word of God. Mm -hmm. And I was ordained to preach this. Amen. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. And I'm so thankful today that I have it backed up. I haven't went to the left, yes. neither to the right. Come on now. Amen. Stand fast. Amen. Too many people are dropping Hallelujah. and falling away from the gospel right. of Jesus Christ. Y'all won't hear me in here. Right. We got to stand. What is say? Four and one. Pastor, can you go with me just for a moment? Second Timothy four and one. This is the day. Second Timothy four and one. What is say? I charge thee therefore before God. I charge thee therefore before who? God. Before God. I was charged before God. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh was placed on me. Praise God. Before Amen. God. Before God. Amen. I went down. I, I went down. Yes. Before mm -hmm. God. Before God. Mm -hmm. Oh. Poured on me. Mm -hmm. Before God. Before God. Ordained. Yeah. Glory to God. Yes. Mm. To preach the gospel. Amen. Of Jesus Christ. Yes. This ain't my gospel. Amen. This is Jesus Christ. This is his gospel. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I was charged. Amen. Therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord Jesus said, Christ. Said, preacher, read. And the Lord Jesus Christ, uh -huh. who shall judge the quick and the dead God at his appearing. God is going to judge the quick and the dead at his appearing. And his kingdom. And his kingdom. Yes, uh -huh. What it say? 
Preach the word. Preach the word. Amen. We got to preach the word. Amen. We're called to preach the word. The word. The word. That's it. That's right. The word. Nothing else Holy but the word. the word. Holy scriptures. The holy scriptures. Amen. That's it. Mm-hmm. Can I? Can I? Can I? Bond what you said yesterday about Bishop Gilmore's script and no lip. Amen. 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 Bible church, script and no lip. Amen. Preach the word. Praise Preach the, the word. gospel Praise of God. Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Right. Amen. I got this little thing here. This is a picture of my dad. This is my father. He mm -hmm. passed sunrise uh, June 25, 1935. Sunset October the 18th, 2010. Mm -hmm. uh, he brought me up in the church. Amen. Mm -hmm. I was a brother, I was a deacon, minister, Amen. elder in the church. Amen. I was taught the gospel. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad that I, I'm not backing up Amen. on the gospel. That's right. Don't See, some up. of y'all back up for family, for friends, for friendship. Amen. Preach the word. The word. Hallelujah. Come on, man. That's your charge. Amen. Amen. Charge to you. We have, God. men of God, been preached to preach the word of God. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Huh? All script and no lip. Amen. Every bit of the word we are charged to preach God's gospel. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the only way we're going to make it by the word of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. We got Amen. to get back in to what we know. Amen. To be God's word, the truth. Yeah. We got to stop taking down on God's word. Come on, come on with it. You got to stop yeah. taking yeah. down on God's word. Praise God. Preach the word. You got to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's not my gospel. It's his gospel. We got to live by the gospel. Amen. Preach the word. Preach the word. Praise God. Hallelujah. Preach. It said preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Be instant in season. I don't care what season it is. Preach. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't care what season it is. We have been ordained. We have been called to preach the gospels. Don't look at their faces. I don't give it your wife. I don't give it your husband. I don't give it your children. I don't give it your pastor. You stand on God's word. Search the scriptures for yourself and see if these things be so. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. You will stand in judgment one day mm -hmm. before God. You are. Amen. Oh. Amen. Holiness is right. Yes, it is. I hear you talking. One body. Amen. Many members, I hear you. Yeah. Amen. But we're all over the place. Hallelujah. We say one body. We say many members. But we're divided. Amen. We mm -hmm. are divided. It's time to preach the word. You can't yeah. let anybody get by with God's word. You got to preach God's word. Praise God. You can't get by the word of God. Amen. Well, you can't God. substitute anything, nothing for nothing, the word. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Praise God. Amen. Pre read, Pastor, please. It said, reprove, rebuke. Exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. All long suffering, reproof, and reproof, doctrine, and doctrine. Amen. This Praise is the God. words doctrine. that we have to live Amen. by. Save down. yourself from this untoward Amen. generation. Save yourself. Stop going alone to get alone. The Bible says, preach the word. Y'all want to go alone and get alone with everything that's not according to God's gospel. Amen. Mm -hmm. You're going to find yourself wandering away from the gospel. Amen. Come out from among them and be separate, said who? The Lord. The Lord. The Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's time to be holy. holy. Holiness is a way of life. It's a way of life. That's right. We are called to holiness. That's it. That's all. Amen. Uh-huh. 
Churches are allowing anybody, Methodist, Catholic, Baptist, so-called apostolic, everybody to grace their pulpits. Amen. Everybody and anybody. People, that's right. We're trying to put programs and things together with everybody. We can't do everybody. Amen. That's right. That's right. Everybody Come don't on. mean holiness. That's right. That's right. Everybody don't mean righteousness. Right. Amen. Amen. We can't be a part of that. Amen. Either you're going to preach God's gospel or you're not. Amen. One or the other. Got the option. My father back in the day would not allow any preacher to grace his pulpit if you didn't believe the same thing he believed. That's it. If you wasn't, praise God, preaching apostles' doctrine, you could forget coming up here. Say your remarks from there. Amen. Don't come up here. Amen. This is the holies of holies. Amen. Preach. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. We let down Come on, man. for friendship. We got friends. All these churches out here, and I've watched it down through this week, all these convocations. It's sad, it's pitiful, it's sickening. God ain't pleased. Mm -hmm. They got everybody coming, and you mm -hmm. call it one body. The devil is a liar. It ain't one body. That's right. How can you walk together unless you agree? Amen. You got to come together. We have to speak Amen. the same thing. That's right. We got to Amen. say the same thing. Amen. Y'all right. clapping your hands. I hear you saying praise Lord. Amen. But you won't do it. Mm -hmm. Friendship. Yes. It's taking over. That's right. Friendship yeah. is taking over. Amen. It got to be conviction. I can't be with you, Brother Hampton, if you don't believe what I believe. I can't run with you. We got to believe the same thing. Amen. The same thing. Amen. Ain't no difference. Well, what about this? Well, what about that? It's got to be the word of God. I'm so glad. Six years later, mm -hmm. I'm still standing Amen. on the Amen. apostles' doctrine, Amen. the word of God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. I'm so glad that I found a church, a pastor that believes the apostles' doctrine. Because if you Praise skip, God. I'm going to skip. Uh -huh. Y'all didn't hear me. Amen. Women preachers coming in, I'm skipping. Amen. Murder, Amen. divorce, second wife, third, fourth, fifth, whatever. Amen. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. Amen. We got to continue to walk by the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. And I know some of these churches. Oh, the choir sing like mockingbirds. Mm -hmm. Oh, the organist can play. Mm -hmm. Oh, the drummer. Oh my God, everything just looks so spiritual. Mm -hmm. Looks spiritual. Looks spiritual. <sighs> it looks spiritual. Mm -hmm. Where there's a false doctrine, y'all don't hear me. There is a false spirit. Amen. Yeah, that's right. Where there is a false doctrine, there is a false spirit. Amen. How you got everybody coming to you to preach? So called evangelists. Y'all hear me good, because I'm talking, yeah, I'm talking about whoever you think I'm talking about, that's who I'm talking about. So-called evangelists. Mm -hmm. So-called. How you change whatever church you go to, that's what you're going to preach. Amen. You're going dan to dance for them. We're going to da dance on this today, we're going to dance on that, you're going to give me a little, we're going to go over here, we're going to dance. Gonna, uh -huh. I thought you wanted to be saved. Amen. God called us to help the people. Yes. To glory. Yeah. Yes. Not that you can get that fine house, that fine car. Yes. That's not what this is about. That's right. This is about souls being saved. It's time to get out of here. Y'all ain't going to go with me. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I'm going to preach God's word. Amen. I'm going to preach his word. Amen. You want to go along with the so-called evangelists? Amen. Mm -hmm. So-called bishop. Mm-hmm. This church come in. That church come in. Yeah. I heard them last night. Oh, one body, one body. What the, my Lord and my God. All these false spirits in the church. Y'all better get ready. Amen. Mm -hmm. You got to take them gays off the organ, off the piano. Them homosexuals off the drums, out of the choirs. You got to take them out. You contaminating, you contaminating, you contaminating the word. Amen. That's it. With your way. Amen. Are you holy or not? Mm -hmm. Are you going to stand or not? Be ye steadfast, 
unmovable always. Not sometime. Always. always Y'all ain't going to go with me. Amen. Don't, I'm going to preach it. I'm going to preach it. I'm going to preach it. Mm-hmm. We got to come out from among them. Yes. We bringing all these choirs together from your church, your church, your church, and your church. Uh-huh. Some believe no hair covering, short dresses, earrings, lipstick, and what? No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. You can't correct. You can't direct the choir because you gotta hold your slip down. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. Mm-hmm. All get this on there just uh, from everybody. They just, they just, just gone. I can't, I can't get with that. Mm-hmm. We got to tell people the truth. God is coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle or any such Praise thing. Praise God. Any such thing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, let's read. Amen. The third verse. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. We're but dealing, after they own lust. We're dealing with the churches. Thank you, sir. Amen. It's right here. Mm-hmm. We're dealing with it right now. In yeah. some of the fellowship that we in, we're dealing with it. In other fellowships, we are dealing with it right now. Mm-hmm. You almost have to shut down social media because all these so-called apostolic church, they just got everything going on all in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. You better know right. how to discern the spirit, what is right and what isn't right. Amen. All right. Amen. Huh? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Great is he that's in me than he that's in the world. We come to draw souls to Christ. But if we keep running with them, they're going to draw you completely out the church. Y'all don't hear me. Can I say it again? They're going to draw you, 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 you completely out the church. Amen. Amen. Because you're listening for smooth things, things that fit your lifestyle. That's right. You going along with with, with whatever fits your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all so hard. Oh, y'all, come out from among them and be separate, saith the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's time to speak up. You cannot run with me unless your God is my God and my God is your God. You can't run with me. Mm -hmm. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed. Praise God. Amen. You be ashamed of me, I'll Amen. be ashamed of you. Mm-hmm. Read, Pastor. Amen. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Itching ears! Ear infection. Mm-hmm. Got an ear infection. Huh? This is how my mom, she used to do this, and I, and I picked it up. That's when your ear itching. As a little boy, I picked it up. I started. Uh-huh. Amen. Ear itching. That's right. Some of y'all ears itching. itching. For untruth. That's right. That's right. For untruth. That's right. That's right. If you want to see God, if you want to make it in, you got to get in this book. Amen. That's right. All script and no lip. Amen. All script. That's right. That's right. No lip. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Uh, sound doctrine. Read, Pastor. Amen. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. Amen. Do y'all hear me? Yes. You're going to turn your ear away from the truth. Yes. You know it's a lie. Yes. You know it ain't right. But you're going to turn away from truth. Yes. And you're going to start going to those little churches and those little convocations and those little church anniversaries and those mm-hmm. things and they got pastor so-and-so coming and evangelist so-and-so Amen. coming you're going to start going along with all this and this choir is coming and that choir is coming and you're going to be caught up Amen. Mm, look out look out you're going to get caught up we have the truth mm-hmm. we have the truth Amen. I said, we have the truth. Y'all got to get behind your pastor. Your pastor, our pastor, is preaching the truth of God. You got to get behind him and push him. It ain't no easy task to stand up here and declare the gospel of Jesus Christ. We got to preach sound doctrine. Yes, hallelujah. How are we going to pull the world Amen. Them from out of the world if when they come in the church, yes. they look like the world. Amen. Mm. 
Amen. Oh, the filler we have. We have people up here. I saw more breasts this. Amen. I saw more Come parts on. in the chest. Amen. Come on. Huh? I saw, I saw earrings. Mm -hmm. I saw tennis shoes. I saw shirts. Daddy, what kind of representation are we doing here? Praise God. Amen. We are ambassadors of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. We are set apart from the world. If they don't want holiness, they don't want to come here. Amen. That's it. Ain't nothing That's but truth it. got to be preached up in God's house. That's how you're going to save Amen. souls by the truth of God. That's how Amen. souls are going to be filled Praise with God. the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. It's got to be truth got to be or true. nothing. Got to be true. All or nothing. Praise God. Nothing else going to stand against this truth. I don't care how it look. I don't care how you build. I don't care what you do. If it ain't built on holiness, sound doctrine, mm -hmm. it's coming down. Amen. Amen. Read for me, Pastor. Amen. Got to go. And shall be turned unto fables. Mm -hmm. She has turned their ears away from the truth and shall be turned unto fable. Uh -huh. But watch thou in all things. Watch thou in all things. Endure affliction. Yeah. Endure your afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. We got to make full proof of our Full ministry. proof. Y'all don't hear me. Oh my God, this is a job. We got to make full proof oh, of our right. ministry. My God, we got to fast, deacon. We got to pray, man. Oh, God, we got to come to church. We got to be on time for church. We got to be obedient. It's better than a sacrifice. My God, you got to pay your tithes. You got to pay your offering. You got to give your all to who? God. God. Amen. That's right. <laughs> my Lord and my God, I meant to say, y'all forgive me. I was late for prayer uh, or at 1030 today. Please forgive me. I meant to say that before I even got started. But I did call pastor and told him I was going to be late. See, because I want to be on time for every service. Amen. I want to be in every service. Praise huh? God. God is too good for me. Mm -hmm. For me not to give him back what he's given me. Huh? It's just my reasonable service. Amen. Huh? Amen. <laughs> Read, Pastor. Amen. The sixth verse say, for... I am now ready to be offered. It was at some point in time. And the time of my departure is at hand. Say, at some point in time. Amen. You got to be ready. That's right. No man know the day. No man know the hour. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know when he coming. Yes. Bible church, we got to be ready. Got to be ready. We got to be ready, Bible church. Got to be ready. Uh, I don't care. It uh, may hurt you. My God, but we got to set the house in order. Mm -hmm. My God, when I moved here, praise God, from Washington, D.C., and I bought that house over there, I had to buy furniture. I had to buy glasses, forks. But I was setting my house in order. I had to call the phone company, the water company, uh, on the lawn yes. people. I was setting my house up. Amen. I was putting my house in order. Saints, you got to put praise your God. house in order. Put I'm talking about that order. spiritual man. You got to put that spiritual man in check. Ah, uh, You got to tell the devil, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world I got to keep pressing I got to go forward because when I see Jesus amen I don't care whatever trial test tribulation is coming your way bring it all to the altar give it to God and praise his holy name amen hallelujah yeah. Hallelujah. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. I don't care what your problem look like. I don't care what the devil is telling you. I don't care how high your bills are stacked up. Yes. God. Hallelujah. It's only God. Yes, hallelujah. It's only God. My God, if we walk in God, if we move in God, if we live in God, no yes. good thing will he withhold from us. If we yes. stay with God. Praise God. Praise God. We got to stay with God. Amen. Yes. This is what they say. Amen. Man, if we just can get all the churches together, we can, you ain't going to never get all the churches together. That's right. No. Stop that. You might just kick that off. Faith. Kick that Amen. down the street. You ain't going to never. He said there's going to be a great fall in the way. Huh? There's a great, right, did you say now? Right now, there's a great fall in the way. And some of us, Come here, Elder, for, boy, if your leg ain't bothering And some of us are, are hitching up with him. Uh-uh, come on. We hitching up. We calling them brothers. Yeah, we brothers, man. Yeah, we good. Uh, friendship, yeah, we good. Yeah, you come preach to me, I come preach to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And y'all don't, y'all ain't believe the same thing. Amen. But we brothers. That's right. Y'all right. mm -hmm. better stop this line. The line is coming from the pulpit. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't hear me. The line is coming from the pulpit. Amen. 
The preachers are lying to the members, to the saints. And the saints just going along with it. Mm -hmm. Preachers are just lying. Mm -hmm. You won't sit down at the table with your word. All right. You won't sit down with the word. Go line upon line. And preach up. You won't do it. You either say, no, nah, just come on in. Come on in and preach for me. And then I'm going to come and preach for you. And you have no idea what I believe. Amen. You have no idea what I stand for. Uh -huh. None. Then you want to bring that into the house, into the people. And then the yeah. people come in and they start all the fellowship. And they start getting along and going along with each other. And now they done locked up. And now you, now y'all done let all that mess in the church. That's right. Amen. That ain't God. Amen. Y'all can say what you want. That ain't Amen. God. That's you. Amen. Huh? For your faith. We got to stand. We got to say the same thing and speak the same thing. Read for me, Pastor. Amen. I'm coming out of here. Amen. The seventh verse. I have fought a good fight. <clears throat> Amen. I have fought a good fight. Yeah. A good fight. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. <laughs> Man, I'm trying to fight this fight. My God, every day of my life, I'm trying to fight. Every minute, every second. Hallelujah. I'm trying to fight this good fight of faith. Praise I got God. to hold on. I can't let nothing separate me from God. Nothing. Amen. I got to hold on got to, hold to on. the gospel. Praise I'm God. so glad I'm still hanging in there. Oh, my Lord and my God. Not my will, Lord. That's what I'm saying. Not my will. But thy will be done in my life, Lord. Amen. I'm not perfect, Praise but I'm striving, Lord. I'm striving Hallelujah. to make a hundred ninety-nine and a half won't do. Praise God. Hallelujah. Help me to make ninety-nine. Hallelujah. Help me to make one hundred. Amen. Yes. Because ninety-nine yeah. won't do. Amen. But in order to make a hundred, yeah, that's right. I got to be faithful. Amen. You got to be faithful to God. Amen. First, Amen. Then I got to be faithful mm -hmm. to my leader. Amen. Because I get your pastors to feed you. Praise huh? God. So God gonna speak to him. Praise God. That's right. Sister Baker, you will come to me and say something to me, huh? And it will be way out of order, way out of line. Mm -hmm. Like you, my pastor. Amen. Like you know my life. Amen. Come on. God put Come a man on. Come on, of God over Come me. On, man. You say, I'll give you pastors. A I pastor to God. feed you. I, give you I don't know why people are running away from the pastor. Praise God. He said, I give you pastor. And why you know, folks running away from the pastor? And they think they know more than the pastor. And they know more than the pastor. Don't know nothing. What rock have you crawled from a pastor? Whatever that rock is, go back. Amen. Better watch out. You're in trouble with God. I will give you a pastor. Come on with it. Make it plain. Tell them. To feed you. Tell them if they're here. Tell them if they're forbear. Yeah. Uh, when a marriage takes place, uh -oh. the husband, uh -oh. the man, uh -huh. uh, a man that finds a wife, he finds what? A good thing. So when you marry somebody, you take them in. Yes. And you're supposed to take care of them. That's right. Uh-huh. You got, you got the wife. Mm -hmm. You got the children. But I'm the husband. Yes. Pastor is the husband mm -hmm. of this house. <laughs> He's the husband of this house. We got a lot of husbands in this house. We got a lot of men and husbands in here. A lot of women husbands in here. Everybody want to run the church. Come on, come on with it. Won't let the pastor run it. They want to run it. Praise God. Because all of a sudden, they got a vision. They ate too much pork chops. They went to sleep on the pork chop. And the pork chop gave them a pork chop dream. And they woke up and they said, Pastor, they called you too. Pastor, well, I think, uh, and pastor just smiling on the phone, looking at the phone, saying, man, what? Well, I just think uh, that I should, uh, yeah. Um, you don't know what you want to do. Amen. That's right. You, you just full of pork chop and gravy and onions. Hallelujah. 
yeah. and some rice and greens. You just fool. You had a good meal last night. That's all. Uh -huh. Woke up full. And, 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 and because God fed you, now you want to go and have a pork chop dream. Now you want to run the Man. house of God and tell the pastor what he's supposed to do. What he ain't supposed to do. Come on, with And the Bible said, I'll give you Lord a pastor to feed you. Don't you know we are obligated Lord to our mercy. pastor? Huh? Don't you know he's responsible for every soul, every soul in this church? I don't care if you're a bishop, a, 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 a bishop, a elder, a minister, a deacon, a mother, a child, or whatever you is, this is your pastor. Can I introduce some of y'all to the pastor of the Bible Church, Bishop Isaiah Anderson? He's the pastor of the Bible Church, 1738 Cody Street. Give me the zip code, somebody. 29203. So if you Google it, that'll put, bring up the Bible church. Amen. And it might bring up Pastor Anderson and Mother Anderson smiling. Uh. But he's the pastor. His wife ain't the pastor now. But in some churches, they got the co-pastor. Y'all gonna make me preach it here. Y'all gonna make me preach it here. So in some churches, you got the co-pastor. And the wife is running the church behind the pastor. Oh, look out, look out. Praise God, praise God. Uh -huh. I know a little bit. So pastor at home, he knocked out sleep and then the wife, honey, 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 I think we should do this. I think we should do that. I think the church would be better if we do this. And I can see my father now getting up, looking at her like, what in the world? What's wrong with you? Go back to sleep. Amen. <laughs> A real man to tell go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Praise God. Hallelujah. Huh? We got to stay steadfast. I'm going along. All right. Unmovable. Right. In the apostles' doctrine. God, when we come right. together as one, the true one. Because I heard folks talking about that one body last night, and I'm just looking at folks like some folk gone crazy. You see, because I'm looking at folks playing pianos and organs, and they just it's feathery and, and look like they just as gay as gay can be, huh? I'm looking at folks singing in the choir. I'm looking at folks. Pastor preached so hard last night. Well, the word of God. God preached the pastor, the man of God. He came with that word last night. If y'all was in the pulpit and could look at the faces of these folks, I'm just telling the truth and I'll tell it again. I'll say it wherever I go. If you just look at the faces of these people, Amen. it was sad. Amen. Preachers was tight-lipped. Amen. Deacons was tight lipped. Mothers, I thought they were dead. Or sleep. I don't know if they had the pill or better. I don't know. But anyway. But, 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 but then I noticed something. I say the singing went forth. The praises went forth. And everybody went forth. Oh my God. They was everywhere. But then when the word came forth. Quiet. Wait a minute. How in the world can you be singing about God and singing about his goodness and his praises and you about to tear the church up? I mean, you about to shout yourself out to church. But when that same word comes through, the word, the preach word, say nothing. They ain't happy no more. They stop shouting. They, they wouldn't say amen. amen. I heard groans and months and everything. Amen. I thought they were hungry. <laughs> but you say there's only one Lord. One there's only one faith. One. And you said there's only one baptism. Amen. Well, if there's so only one, then why are we so divided? Amen. 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 Okay, let me go. Praise God. Read. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me in at that day. If we don't get this thing right, you can say bye to that sentence right there. You can say goodbye. Say bye to that all together. Just say bye. Amen. The screen just go black. Because that's that ain't going to be for you. That's right. We got to be steadfast. We got to be unmovable. Yes. Read, Pastor. And not, on, not to me only, uh -huh. but unto all them also that love his appearing. All right. Now let me go back to 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Yes. 
Y'all all right? Amen. Bible church, be encouraged. Yes. We got to stand in these last evil days. I'm not just saying this. I mean this. We got to stand on the apostles' doctrine. Okay? We got to love each other. We got to care about each other. We got to help each other. We got to push each other in the truth. Huh? Pastor was running down some things yesterday uh, pertaining to women, pertaining to men. Can I just simply say, if you wasn't born with it and it's fake, it ain't yours. Uh-uh. You all right, boy. If you had to buy it and put it on you, it ain't yours. You all right, amen. Yes. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast. And objective is a word that describes a noun: steadfast, unwavering. Steady as she go. Yes. Steadfast. Fixed. Amen. Firm. Decided. Amen. Unwavering. Unhesitating. Unyielding. Unshakable. Steadfast. Amen. Not changing. In your attitudes. Or your loyalty. Amen. To who? Steadfast. We have to be unwavering. We have to be steadfast. Amen. Paul encouraged the, Christ, Christ, the Corinthians church to remain. Don't move. Don't move. Amen. Bible church, don't move. We can't move. Amen. Paul encouraged the Corinthians church to remain faithful to everything he taught them. Bible church, the founder of this church said, no script, script, and no lip. Pastor Anderson is echoing the same thing. Script and no lip. We can't move, Bible Church. I said, we can't move, Bible Church. Bible Church, y'all hear me? We cannot move. My father said it was still victory. Even in his death, he was still saying it's still victory. Bible Church, it is still victory. If you hold on to God and you hold out, it's going to be victory. At the end of this road, it's going to be victory. If you hold on, it's going to be victory. I don't care what you're going through. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Don't move. Hallelujah. Remain faithful to everything Hallelujah. we have been taught. Amen. We have been taught. Hallelujah. We have to follow the Holy Scriptures. Amen. The Constitution. Yes. Y'all listen to me. The Constitution and Discipline Book. I got that right here. Amen. Of the Bible Church. If y'all don't have it, get it. Amen. So you can find out. If you don't know what the Bible Church believe in. Amen. Get you a copy. Huh? Get this first. <laughs> get this first. And then find out what your church believe. And all them other churches y'all following, y'all need to let them go. Y'all don't hear me. All them other churches y'all following online and friends with and this, that, that, you're partakers in it. Huh? You're giving to them ministries. You're following those ministries. you thumbs up, heart, all that. You're part of it. You're supporting it. That ain't God. We got to be holy. We got to be set apart. This is a holy church. This is a sanctified church. Huh? Don't move. We cannot move. 
when we see the word therefore in scripture we should always back up to see why it's there what is therefore therefore it goes back to what was previously stated in this cause Paul addresses those who had fallen away from his own original teaching mm -hmm. on resurrection Amen. they were embracing his says and intrusing introducing destructive ideas contrary to the gospel Amen. huh Amen. Paul restates the truth of Jesus death for sin we have to be steadfast Amen. we can't move Amen. we can't move huh we got to follow the scripture always at all times on all occasions without exception yes. constantly mm -hmm. we got to make it a habit <laughs> huh? it's a definition for always abounding abundance bring forth Paul is exhorting the Corinthians to abound in the work of the Lord yes. Paul is calling on them Bible Church I'm calling on you Huh? In the work of the Lord, we got to come, we got to keep moving, we can't look back, we have to go forward, we got to let them things go. Huh? Them things that are not holy, them people that are not holy, them churches that are not holy, we got to cut them loose, let them go. Why? Because they're wearing you down. You can't move when you're bound. Huh? When a ship goes out, he throws over an anchor. And when the anchor gets down, it stops. And you can't move. Some folks are being held down by your friends loved ones, other churches, so on and forth. Well, we've been, they threw the anchor out on you. This, this, this is the way of life. We got to be holy. Let's go forward. We got to go forward in evangelism, edification. Huh? We got to go out and help save those that what, are lost. Whoever God gets ready, whoever he calls in this house, we got to be prepared to help them to move forward in Christ Jesus. Huh? Souls have to come in to be saved. But when they come in, they see we ain't saved. Because the world know. They know. When they come in, they don't see a difference between them and us. They know. We are different, peculiar people. We are set apart. We ain't like the world. Folks are taking down so on the word of God and we just patting them along and tell them to go, 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 and go, and you go, go. The devil is a liar. Don't confront me with that mess, because I'm going to tell you, I've come too far. Amen. i come too far. Huh? i come too far. Huh? My apostle taught me the word of God. I looked in the word and I found it. That's why I'm here today. Over six years ago, I was ordained to preach God's gospel. I'm not letting up on God's gospel. If I got to die, I'm going to preach God's gospel. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. Amen. I got to go all the way. And when I see Jesus, amen. amen. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Ah. Oh, we got to abound more and more and more and more and more and more, more, more in the word. Y'all won't hear me in here. We got to go forward. Amen. Amen. Saints, we got to move forward. Amen. Go back to 1 Corinthians 15, 58. What did it say? Can I read it again? Yes. Put it up for me. Therefore, my beloved brethren, Bible Church, <laughs> my sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, can I just take this line and address it to you? Therefore, my beloved brethren, my sisters and brothers in Christ, I love you. Amen. I love you, but we got to, we got to move forward. We, got to move forward. we can't stay still. We've been still too long. Right. Amen. Huh? Right. If you look back last year, and you ain't moved from last year to this year. Yeah, you, you, you something, something is wrong. Huh? My beloved brother, we got to be steadfast. Thank you, Jesus. We got to be unmovable. Amen. We got to always abound in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know, it's your labor 
is not in vain in the Lord. In the Lord. We can do this. We can do this, Bible Church. Bible Church, we can do this. I'm looking forward, Bible Church. We can do this. Huh? We got to stand. We got to follow our pastor. We got to keep him lifted up. We got to pray for him. Y'all don't hear me in here. I said we got to keep him lifted up. Pray for your elders. Pray for your deacons. Pray for your brothers, your mothers. Pray for the saints. Pray for the children. Pray for the people of God. We can do this, Bible Church. Let's be steadfast. Let's be unmovable. Let's always abound in the work of the Lord. For as much as we know that our labor, one day it won't be in vain. And when I see Jesus. Unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know your labor is not in vain. Praise God. Payday is coming out the while. Praise God. What was your what would your payday look like? Praise God. So we just thank and praise God. Amen. For the word of God. Amen. We had no idea. We had no idea. What he was going to preach on today. Praise God. We had no idea. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We had some things that were written down. Thank you, Lord. I don't even have to really say them, in them, say them now. Amen. Praise God. But we thank and praise God for all things. Amen. And saints of God, you got to be steadfast. Amen. Praise God. You got to be steadfast, unmovable. And he was talking about how some, now some of them that just came in, they're moving faster in Revelation than I've seen some of the ones that have been in here for a while. And I was scratching my head on that. Amen. Why are they moving like this in Revelation? And those that have been around for a while, few of you, I'm just saying a few, amen, not moving at all. Saints of God, we got to seek the Lord. We got to seek him because the revelation got to come from him. He got to give it to you. Because there's something that I could preach from this pulpit, and some of you have been in here 25 years, will not get it. And that's why I can't preach it. Amen. Because you're not going to grab it. You're not at that point where you can grab it, where you can understand it. And that's why we got to constantly stay on our knees in prayer. And we got to constantly obey. Because obedience is better than sacrifice. Because when you don't obey, you just hurt yourself. That what he was talking about. When you, we don't obey, you know. I mean, he had that bylaw. I mean, he had that book. Where is it? And this book is going to be aligned with this book. Praise God. This book. Got to align with this book. These are rules, but this is doctrine. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So we just thank and praise God for all things. I ask everyone to rest at their feet at this time. Amen. Would there be one for water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of the sins and the promises that you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The promises unto you and to your children, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Will there be one for water baptism? I would like to take this church to be their church. They may step up at this time as well. Praise God. Amen. Will there be one? Amen. Maybe somebody need prayer. Somebody may need deliverance. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. <laughs> uh oh, all right. Praise God. Praise God. This is Ella Hale. Thank you. Praise Amen. God for him. Amen. Praise God. And we're going to let him address the congregation. Thank God. What his desire is. We do thank and praise the Lord.
Nothing welcomes you more than the word of God. Amen. Amen. The truth of God's word. And that's what I was looking for. Yes, Lord. I travel an hour, almost two hours, for the truth. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. God is good. God is right. And I thank God. All right. Praise God. Thank you. All right. Praise God. What's, what is that? If you accept God, I'll try to help. All right. He said, if we accept it, what do you say, saints? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. We thank God for you. Thank you, Lord. Praise the thank Lord. You. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God, these brothers. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. Glory. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So we just thank and praise God for all the hell. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I, you know, I spoke with him in the office, amen, last week. And he's such obedient. Amen. He's so humble. That's what I like, amen, amen, about him. Amen. Being, he was just so humble. And I'm going to tell you, too, he know, that, he know them scriptures. When he went to talk, you know, we saw my Deborah, and he broke that thing down. I said, uh-oh. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. So we just thank God. Amen. For him. And you may, may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. We thank and praise God. We welcome him to the Bible Church of our Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. And Ella, over here, we don't have a big eye and a little you. Amen. You just came in, but, you know, you're just like any of us. Amen. Praise God. Sometimes people come in and they say, well, um, I'm not going to say anything because I'm the new person. No, don't worry about that. Amen. You, when you, amen. Just If you have something to say, just say it. We thank and praise God. Amen. For him. Amen. And he just said, he drove almost two hours. Amen. Two hours. Just like we did on yesterday, almost two hours. Praise God. We thank and praise God, amen, for him. You know, that sacrifice that he made. Praise God. Amen. And uh, I know one person, they were driving four hours to church on Sunday. When you find the true saints of God, you just got to, you got to do what you got to do to get to it. Praise God. When you find the truth. Amen. So we just thank and praise God, amen, for all of the saints of the Most High God. Amen. And we just have a few things to say. I, I want to thank God for, you know, and God bless you all to, um, that attended, amen, the Redemption Deliverance Convocation on yesterday. I thank God for you. Yes. We turned out in real good numbers. I, you know, when I asked the Bible Church to stand, it was pretty much most of the congregation. And so we thank and praise God for those that made that trip. And I want to thank and praise God, you know, for, you know, um, even Ella Palmer. He stepped in, they, they gave him this, he'd tell the bishop this and tell the bishop that. And do that. Amen. Start pointing him in directions. And so we thank God, amen, for all things. And we thank and praise God, amen. Um, Y'all turned out so beautifully. And my, my thing was to get the word out to them. Amen. You know, see, I'm like Paul. When I go out among a congregation, I look around. All right. All right. <laughs> I observe things. I see what's there. And I got to give them what is needed. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. You have to look around and see what's needful. Praise God. And one thing Bishop Gilmore taught us, you preach that word. I tell you what, if you didn't preach the word with him, he'll get you when you sit down too. He's not going to do it in front of people. But he'll, 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 you didn't handle that right. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> he'll get you when you sit down. Yeah. You're not going to disrespect and come across the, the congregation, but he'll pull you aside. 
Amen. I remember I preached at Emmanuel one time. He pulled me, he had to pull me aside. He said, you didn't do that right. <laughs> ah, well, we thank and praise God, amen, for the training and the teaching. Amen. amen. We thank God, amen, for that. And those that came up on yesterday, we thank God for you. Praise God. And to no service tonight, amen. I know we've been gone for about 10 or 11 hours on yesterday. I think it started out, plus, but we ran into an accident, and that slowed us down, really slowed us down. Amen. And so and I, I was just praying for the person in that. Um, Mother Washington was saying it was an RV. It was an RV that don't turn over. And you couldn't even tell. It just looked like a bunch of junk on the road. Amen. But, I, you know, we pray for that person that they made it through. Amen. Amen. And so, and this week is all about the Holiness Conference. Amen. Amen. This week is about the Holiness Conference. We're coming up to our Holiness Conference. And we thank and praise God, amen, for, you know, we got, you know, um, Elder coming in on, uh, Elder Thornton coming in on um, Friday night. And then, praise God, Elder Gore is going to be that Saturday. Amen. And then we got Bishop Dade coming in that Sunday. Praise God. So we just thank and praise God, amen, for all things. And saints of God, let us pray and let us fast. Praise God. Let us continue with our prayer and our fasting. And um, one thing I want to say about a, a, a fast, too, is that um, put a Isaiah 58 and 4 up on the screen. Uh, let's back up to the fourth verse. Isaiah 58 and 4. All right. I wanted to just been on my heart. When you fast, your fast should not be for strife and debate. And to smite with the fist of wickedness. Oh, you fasting so you can see somebody come down. You fasting so somebody can be destroyed. Amen. You shall not fast as you do this day to make your voice to be heard on high. Now drop down to the sixth verse. It's not just the fast that I have chosen. To loose the band of wickedness. To undo the heavy burden. To let the oppressed go free. And that you break every yoke. That's the fast. That's the fast that he have chosen. Amen. And so we wanted to Say a few other things and just go ahead and stop the camera. <laughs> yeah. Amen.